what are these morphological changes myocardial cells undergo pathological hypertrophy and they undergo pathological production of extracellular matrix and growth factors and many other alteration those all alterations in the lump lump sum they are called cardiac remodeling so we can say that in congestive cardiac failure due to chronic elevated elevation of angiotensin 2 and aldosterone myocardium undergo progressive pathological geometrical changes or we simply call it as dr rao said we simply call it myocardium is undergoing remodeling phenomenon this chronic remodeling of myocardium makes the myocardium more poor contractile machinery and patient with congestive cardiac failure under the chronic influences of angiotensin 2 and aldosterone go under progressive cardiac failure is that right in the same way chronically elevated angiotensin 2 and aldosterone also work on the smooth muscles of vessels and bring pathological changes in them so this is one of the most modern concept that if you allow the renin angiotensin aldosterone axis to work pathologically high that will eventually disturb the whole efficient geometry of the heart as well as vasculopathies are produced is that right that is why any patient with congestive cardiac failure at any stage it comes to you either at very early stage or late stage the most important drug is drug which inhibit the angiotensin converting enzyme so that angiotensin 2 should not be produced and aldosterone should not be released or alternatively we use the drugs which block the receptors of angiotensin 2 so that angiotensin 2 blocking the receptor blocking drugs are also very effective and not only they change the preload and afterload and blood volume but they also reduce the pathological progressive geometrical changes in the heart they prevent the cardiac remodeling. We will discuss in detail what are these drugs and how they work in the next session.